welcome back to Labib's YouTube channel. I'm your host, Kaylin, and welcome back to another bookish video. Today, we are gonna be talking about something super important, and that is the history of the typewriter. National Typewriter Day was earlier this month in June, so we are gonna be talking about the history of the typewriter from the beginning to the renaissance that has happened here recently. And not only that, but we're gonna be building a typewriter as well. How awesome is that? This video is not sponsored. I will leave a link in the description box down below where you can go onto Amazon and purchase one yourself. And then that way you can come back in the second half of the video and also build it with me. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. Before computers and screens, there were typewriting machines. The history of the typewriter started with a man named Henry Mill. During his lifetime, Mill worked as a waterworks engineer for the New River Company and also submitted two patents. One was for a coach spring while the other one was for a machine that was transcribing letters. This eventful day took place on January 7th when Queen Anne of England granted the patent to Mill. The machine that he invented appears from the patent to be the first conceptualized writing machine. As time went by, a man named William A. Burt stepped on the scene. On March 9th, 1829, Burt submitted his patent for the typographer in the United States. Burt's device featured a mix of keys and dials. The small wooden box had a swinging lever that could depress to make an impression on paper. The lever was attached to a short sector beneath. Letters could be imprinted on a sheet of rolled paper. After the impression, the paper was torn off to be used. Burt received this patent on July 23rd, 1829. Time fast forwards a little bit more into 1868 when the first prototype of the typewriter was born. Christopher Scholes, an American inventor who first introduced the modern typewriter, was born in Mooresburg, Pennsylvania. Scholes moved to a nearby city, Danville, where he worked as an apprentice to a printer. After completing his apprenticeship, he moved to Milwaukee, Wisconsin, where he pursued a career as an editor of a newspaper. Following a strike at his printing press, he tried building a machine for typesetting, but this was a failure and he quickly abandoned this idea. Scholes then formed a partnership with Samuel W. Soule, who was also a printer, and together they began development work in a machine shop. Together, they ended up patent a numbering machine on November 13th, 1866. Scholes and Soul showed their machine to Carlos Gideon, a lawyer and amateur inventor. Scholes, Gideon, and Soul were granted patents for their typewriter invention in 1868. In the machine's original 1868 design, paper was placed horizontally on the top of the machine, held in place by a movable square frame to provide line and letter spacing. Above the paper and centered on the device, an arm held an inked ribbon, which crossed over a small metal plate. Depressing a key caused a type bar to rise from underneath the paper, pressing the paper upwards against the ribbon and thus printing an inked character. This method of imprinting required use of very thin, non-standard paper, such as tissue paper. In early 1873, the three of them approached E. Remington and Sons, who decided to buy the patent from them. The Scholes and Gideon typewriter, also known as the Remington No. 1, was the first commercially successful typewriter. Remington also made several adjustments, including switching the period and R keys so that salesmen could impress customers by typing typewriter using all the keys on the top row, which created a keyboard layout that is known as the modern day keyboard. Other typewriters that entered the scenes throughout the 1880s included the Hall, invented by Thomas Hall, the first index model of the typewriter and the most popular. Letters could be selected using an index card under a frame with holes giving the model its name. The Pocket Typewriter was only 10 centimeters long, the smallest index typewriter ever invented. Though it wasn't very practical or useful, this typewriter is like the iPad of today's time. And last but not least, the Velograph, which was the first typewriter to be produced in Switzerland. It followed very closely the design of William Burt and his typographer with a dial as opposed to keys. 
Then, as technology advanced throughout the years, typewriters sort of became a thing of the past. There was also a modern day renaissance. Two documentaries specifically, The Typewriter in the 21st Century and California Typewriter, features collector Tom Hanks. This has helped popularize vintage typewriters among young people who also have a soft spot for analog technologies such as vinyl records and fountain pens. Look at that green, that's beautiful. As repeat customers go. That's, that's, that's a dense, dense, solid, solid. solid. Typing on something that works exactly the same as it did in 1938. If you're looking to purchase a typewriter in 2023, a simple Google search will do. There are plenty of options from brand new typewriters from Office Depot or Best Buy, or if you're looking for an older one, you can go to eBay. While technology may advance, I think it's safe to say that the typewriter is here to stay. Now that we have briefly covered the history of the typewriter, we are going to start to build our very own. So let's get into it. Let's get all the pieces out of this box. <laughs> Here's the box for the typewriter set. So we're gonna take it off and do a little unboxing. It looks like we have a bunch of little pieces, also numbered bags, so hopefully that will make the process easier. We have bag number one over here, bag number two. We got some stickers. Bag number three. I think this is bag number one. Number one. Number three. Da 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 da, the instructions. I feel like this is gonna be an expert mode because I normally don't have these long fingernails, so this is gonna be really fun. many hours and many leftover pieces, our typewriter is finally complete. Dun, 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 dun,
look how cute this is. Like, it's functional. You can play with it. You can type with it and mess around with it. This was such a fun build, but I definitely underestimated one, the time it was gonna take, two, the amount of pieces, and three, the amount of tiny pieces to be specific. Like there's all these like tiny little pieces. <laughs> As they just ran away. Um, and I uh, just got my press on nails done. So uh, they're longer than I normally do. So with, that combination of long nails and tiny little building pieces, it made it so much harder uh, to build this. So I was definitely on expert mode building this, um, but I'm so excited to finally have a typewriter. It will now live on my shelf. <laughs> But anyways, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. Do you own a typewriter or would you like to own a typewriter? Typewriter Connor Sewer, let me know in the comment section down below. And anyways, don't forget to hit like and subscribe and I will see you next time for a new bookish video.